Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Morning Coffee with your host, Rick Alexander. Are y'all the type to do New Year's resolutions? Uh, You know, it's interesting. I think that I've been kind of paying attention to the narrative online. And of course, this is time of year in the personal development space is it's a lot of people are trying to capitalize on it to come up with new programs and things to sell you to help you stick to your goals. And of course, there's a lot of negative attention around it because There's a lot of the New Year's resolution gym goers that sort of fall off by February and yada yada. But, you know, personally, if I think about it, like this idea that there's a built in time of the year where you get to look back and reflect on all that's transpired to get you to where you are right now. And you're never going to be able to convince me that that is a negative thing in itself. Um, Of course, you should have goals all year long. Of course, you should be working toward things. But I don't need to tell you guys that. That's that is the crowd that that listens to this show. But I guess I just don't think that the negativity is going to help at all. I think that we we're all in this together. And so, you know, like what people need is encouragement. They, They don't need to be told why they didn't succeed last year. And so if you have the opportunity to contribute to the conversation or to the narrative, uh, well, you know my philosophy around this. Just just be a light for people. Just be helpful. I think that's that's what the world needs. And I think overall, it's a net positive that uh, this time of year comes around and we, we get to reflect on what, what has gone wrong, what has gone right, what has got us to where we are, and then also what's going to get us to where we want to be going forward. So going forward is what I want to talk about today. When you come up with your New Year's resolutions... I'm curious if you subjugate any kind of part of yourself, if you're, if you're holding back in some way because of what you're afraid people will think and you're afraid of, you know, you're not doing what you think you should be doing. The, the thing is, all of these shoulds that we have about our life are, they tend to just be fabricated based on this like odd mix of subconscious programming that we've received throughout our lives. So whatever it is that you're holding back for, most likely it's only fabricated by you and probably not true. You know, I can only tell you from my personal experience, but I think that going forward in my life, like I've just chosen from here on out, I'm putting all of my chips on the table all the time. Like I'm no longer going to live half in um, or, or with just my feet in the water. Like I don't think that that's how real success is made. And, and in my experience, you get this weird cognitive dissonance around being half in and half out because nothing feels fully right. And, you know, what I found, like Morning Coffee is a perfect example of that because it was a show that I wanted to start years ago, but I never had the balls to go all in. So I got co-hosts and I got guests and I got all of these other things. And I think that they were great and they helped with the evolution. But when I finally launched Morning Coffee, it quickly became the most popular part of the entire show because what you find is that thing that you that desire that you have deep down to do you're actually positioned to do that better than even you think that you are and the fact that you have that desire means that other people do as well and so do not be afraid to go all in because what you're going to find is it's not random it's not random that you have this deep desire to impact the world in a certain way and if we project out even further than the year when we start talking about legacy and what what our time here is going to have meant. The way to positively impact the world the best is to stay completely true to what it is that you really want to do. And so my question for you today would be like, well, what parts of you are you not going all in because you're nervous of what people are going to say? So I wanted to highlight something called the spotlight effect because I believe this is one of the reasons that a lot of us are not putting all of our chips on the table. You know, one reason why people expend so much effort conforming to social norms and fashions is that they think that others are closely paying attention to what they're doing. 
If you wear a suit to a social event where everyone else has gone casual, you feel like everyone else is looking at you funny and wondering why you are such a geek. But if you are subject to such fears, here's a thought that should help. They aren't really paying as much attention to you as you think that they are, and that is a good thing. Uh, this guy, Tom Gilovich, uh, he demonstrated that people fall prey to what he called the spotlight effect. And a typical experiment Gilovich's team started by doing some research about which entertainer would be the most unhip to display on the front of a t-shirt. This research was conducted in the late 1990s, and the winner of his dubious honor was the singer Barry Manilow. When a student arrived for the experiment, he was told to put on a t-shirt with Barry Manilow's picture prominently displayed on the front. The student was then asked to join another group of students who were busy filling out questionnaires. After a minute or so, the experimenter returned and told the students wearing the t-shirt that he now realized he wanted him to participate in a different study. The student and the experimenter then left the room. At this point, the student was asked to guess how many of the other students in the room would be able to identify who was on his t-shirt. The average guess was a bit less than half, 46%. But in fact, only 20% of the group could say who was pictured on his t-shirt. The moral is that people are paying less attention to you than you believe. If you have a saying on your shirt, don't worry because they probably won't even notice. But in part, because people do think that everyone has their eyes fixed on them, they conform to what they think people expect. So my question again for you today is, where are you falling victim to the spotlight effect? Is that possibly the reason that you're not putting all of your chips on the table? I know for me, uh, that certainly is one. Like every time I, I have some kind of idea, and again, like I've really made this deal with myself that I'm going to live with all my chips on the table going forward, but it was not easy to get to this conclusion. And a lot of the times when I've subjugated part of myself or, or held back or stifled what I really believed, it was because of the spotlight effect. It was because I was too afraid that people were going to be clued in onto the real me and then that I wouldn't be accepted. And I think a lot of us are living with those fears. But the truth is, people aren't really paying that much attention. And it's a good thing because it means that you have the freedom and mobility to move, to experiment, to try things, to do the things that you really deep down want to do. And your life, your happiness, your contentment, your well-being are all going to be better off for it. So I'm sure that you've already made your resolutions, but look forward, look at your resolutions. If you are holding back because of the spotlight effect or because of any other fabricated reason that you think what you really want won't be accepted, I would implore you to put all of your chips on the table. I've been trying to find this vibe for long time. Long time. Always seem like it's coming on its own time. But it feels so good, ain't gonna lie. Never lie. My ride or die so good, ain't gonna lie, Never lie. Nah, nah, let's goodbye, all the way up and you can take this, cause it's feeling so real that you can fake this, but it feels so good, ain't gonna lie, Never lie. my ride or die, feels so good, ain't gonna lie, Never lie. nah, nah, let's goodbye, we ain't never gonna quit, we ain't never gonna quit it, boy,
a gift Just take it as it comes Embrace it through the mist Weather, rain or sun Every day is a gift You got air up in your lungs Be grateful, rain or sun Every day is a gift Just take it as it comes Embrace it through the mist Weather, rain or sun Every day is a gift You got air up in your lungs Grateful rain or sun yeah, yeah, yeah.